see what the synaptic structure of NP. First, we see that the single item, the single word, that is a book. There can be any item that is known, like we have three types of entity that are known. They are the personalities, the places, and the things. There are three types of known. We call <coughs> we call the entities. Let's see the first structure of entity. In expert theory, we have discussed that there are three projection level of every synaptic categories. And you will see that our first structure fulfill the three levels of expert theory. First, minimal level. Second, intermediate level. The third is maximum level. This is the structure of noun phrase. And you see book the head word is book it regulates the whole phrase it controls the whole phrase that is the noun phrase the second structure is say that's a book the book an elephant an apple we have one determinant in traditional English language, in traditional grammar, English language, we have three types of determiners. A uh, and the. These are the determiners. See the second structure of nominal phrase. See, this is the second structure of nominal phrase. In this structure, you see that book. Book is noun. N is the minimal level. N bar is the intermediate level. And the third one is the maximum level. Our theory, our phrase has fulfilled the three projection levels. And here, D, A, N, they are the determinants. In English language, we see there are three types of determiner. They are D, A, N. And if we say a book, if we say the book, this is the phrase. And the structure of this phrase will be just like this. Here, a book is a is the Determiner and it takes the specified position of NP. If we say the that takes the specified position of NP because noun takes determiner before. Let's see the third structure. The third structure we see that we have a total one phrase. The phrase is book of Ali see in this phrase we have three projection levels one is minimal level second is intermediate level the third is maximal level and in this phrase we have the head that is the a book and it head and takes Prepositional phrase as a complement. Let's see. This is the handle book. It takes prepositional phrase as a complement. And here the second level is intermediate level, that is the N bar. The third level is NP. This is the whole phrase. But the question is that what is regulating the whole phrase? The whole phrase is being regulated by N. Book. Book of Ali. Let's see the structure of VP. Mean verb phrase. The first structure is VP. In this structure, we have the minimal level. 
that is B, is the head. The head word is sleep. The intermediate level is V bar. And the third is maximum production that is the, the VP. This is the whole phrase. And this phrase is being regulated by the sleep. See, the next. The next uh, for reaction is VP. And we have the phrase, read a book. And in this phrase, we have the head word read. And read basically regulates the whole phrase. And read takes NP as a complement. And as we have already discussed the structure of NP, what is NP? And we have already drawn the structure of NP, you can see. The second level is V bar. This is the intermediate level. And the third and the final level is the maximum level. This is the VP. And see the second structure of VP. In this structure, read takes and be as a complement. And you see that the whole phrase is being regulated by the one word. That one word is the read. See the third structure of V. In this structure, you see that the head word is it. B is the head mean word. The second level is intermediate level. V bar. It takes and B as a complement. The complement is an apple. The maximum level is VP. And it has a specifier that is John. We see that the structure is John eats an apple. This is the thematic structure. In the previous videos, we have discussed that what is theta theory. The theta theory, we have discussed how theta goals are assigned. And in this structure, theta theory has fulfilled because the head word V verbs assigns the complement as the team role, the patient's role and V also assign the agent's roles at the specified position and in this diagram we can see that theta roles are assigned from head to the complement. Have you got my point that in this structure we can see that theta roles are assigned from head to the complement and this is the head, the V, each head and it assign the theta role and it draw the whole structure and in this structure the, the head of the whole phrase is V because it regulates the whole structure. These NPs do not have potential to assign theta role. And in this structure, only one element, one head within the structure of VP that assign the theta roles. V being head assign the theme role to the apple and the agent role to the germ. And if theta roles are assigned, one step has completed that is the thematic structure within the syntax if thematic structure has been fulfilled and then we will further move for the the ks filter the second module let's see the structure of the remaining syntactic categories the third one is adjective phrase an adjective phrase if we draw the structure of adjective phrase our theory will fulfill because we must follow the three production level if we don't for if we don't follow the three production level our principle and authenticity will not be fulfilled so it is very important for us to follow all the principles and this structure is following our principle because it has three production level and here we have the word beautiful 
beautiful is the is an adjective and we have the structure the handbird adjective adjective ball and adjective phrase this is the structure of adjective phrase and see the next the fourth the last one structure of adverb and see the adverb the structure of adverb is just like it also fulfill the singular level the first is the adverb adverb bar adverb phrase and we have the word normally is adverb in traditional language because traditionally we uh, see that the word that ends at the ly we normally say that in english language it is uh, adverb and see the next is today adverb and this is the structure of adverb phrase and this is the structure of adjective phrase and you can even draw the selected structure of all these categories and in this video we have discussed five types of grammatical categories one noun phrase second verb third the positional phrase fourth adjective phrase fifth adverb phrase we have completed the structure of grammatical categories have you got my point thank you and if you have any question you can comment and you can ask your question